first days on set were, it was very difficult to concentrate. <laughs> I was just like, wow, this is amazing. And I just wanted to take pictures and, 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 uh, and, and meet the characters and talk to them and, and, uh, and pilot. And it was, it, it was interesting. It was an interesting process because uh, acting is about that. Acting is about being free and be a kid somehow, you know, be able to play and to react to what's in front of you. And this film was all about that. All these characters are, 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 are real heroes, heroes like you and I, uh, that, uh, that decide to change the world, you know, to fight for freedom and, uh, and that are willing to risk everything. Uh, so it's about this team that goes in, in, into this mission that sounds impossible. Uh, and, and, and it's about their, their commitment and their, their, their beliefs being stronger than anything. Captain Cassian Andor is my character. And uh, he's in charge of, of, of keeping this team together, making sure the mission gets executed. and. Uh, and that this very interesting and weird and diverse team actually can work together. Everything works, everything's real, you know. The, 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 the markets are happening, the creatures are walking, you know, the creatures, that's an, I mean, the work behind those, the, the, those characters is incredible. They have these masks that are controlled by someone with a joystick far away that is looking at the scene. So you're talking to them and they're reacting to you. Uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, I mean, my job was just to react, basically, you know? Acting became just about reacting. I didn't have to imagine anything. Everything was just there. Experiencing this with Felicity was very special because th this is something new for both of us. You know, if you see her, the film she's done, uh, there's nothing there like Star Wars. You know, and and, uh, and and this world can be very scary. You know, the size of this film can be very scary, and I was very lucky to have her um, next to me. You know, always there to kind of grab my hand and go like, "Oh my God, <laughs> this looks dangerous. This is huge." The, you know, it's, it's the, the amount of um, interest already in the film before we even do it, you know? The amount of attention that the project has around, the secrecy, it's, it sometimes can be rough to handle this, you know? And, uh, and she was always there. He's a very lonely man. Probably his only friend is a, is a droid he reprogrammed, K2SO. Uh, that happens to be a, a, an Imperial droid that uh, he reprograms and, uh, and he does almost a good job, but he has a, a, a few flaws, you know. It's, um, this droid kind of says everything, everything that goes through his mind. There's no filter. Uh, so that's good and bad. You know, it's the kind of friend you want to have, but sometimes you don't want to hear the whole thing. Alan is, is, is the nicest person to have around. Just, it's impossible not to laugh. Uh, he has this very fast mind, you know? It's like he doesn't stop uh, and he comments on everything. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and it's great, unless it happens when you're shooting, you know? And, and he had that permission because he will be CGI. The film does have that sense of adventure and, 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 and it's, a, it's this fantastic world where things fly and lasers are around and stormtroopers and whatever. But at the end, it's a film about people. It's a film you can relate to when you see, you know.